Yeah, I really just be out here recording looking any type of way. Like, I put you guys before my personal image, okay? Um, so today I'm back with an exciting video. You guys have been loving my tour videos and this one is actually so near and dear to my heart. I feel like it's gonna be an emotional video because I'm giving you guys a tour of the Schmidt Artist Lofts located in St. Paul, Minnesota, my hometown. And I actually lived here for like three or four years. Um, so I'm currently visiting and I still stay here with a friend. I come back with my old neighbors. So I thought I would give you guys a tour. If you don't know, Schmidt is in a historic Schmidt beer brewery. So it still has a lot of the like features that were there. Like when I moved to Atlanta, I always look for a loft. And there is no real lofts, like y'all. Look at this. This is what a loft looks like, okay? This is what a loft is supposed to look like. Try not to show too much of her personal business and crib because it's not my house to show but all right so stay tuned if you want to see what is the schmidt artist lofts and the best part about it is that we have like several different studios art studios so we have a yoga studio gym theater we have a woodworking room we have a clay room a painting room so i'm going to take you guys throughout the building and show you guys some of my neighbor's art and all the great features at the schmidt artist loft so let's get it It is so freezing outside right now and I'm just wearing slippers, but this is what the outside of the building looks like, okay? This is called the bottle house. There's two places, the brew house and the bottle house. So you come in, security, boom. This is the entryway and then right away on your right, we have our first and smaller community room. So these can be rented out. Um, rent it out for free. It's such a cute party space. And then, you know, the fire turns on. And I love this. I actually lived just a few units away from this um, room. So I definitely came in here and did homework a lot, you guys. How cute is this just for like a little girls' night or like a small get together? It's definitely giving. <laughs> Then you'll notice on all the walls, there's artwork, which is from our neighbors. So we're gonna go ahead and um, take you through what is called, is this hallway? Each hallway is very different. Down here is what we have the, I think it's called the pig eye gallery. So um, yeah, this is the artist. So actually all of the tenants, so all of the tenants, in order to get in here, it's not like a regular apartment that you apply for. Basically you have to submit a portfolio, answer an essay question, and a few things like that. There's not like a credit check or like, there's like a criminal history check. Wow, look at that one. But yeah, it's some other hoops you have to jump through. And it's a really long waiting list. Like it actually, I was on this waiting list for two years before I got in here. Um, so yeah, you have to be an artist to live here and art can be really subjective. So like this person um, has a dance studio um, There's cooks these are have been here since I lived here. This is crazy. So they're all different scary movies Okay, can you guys guess what movies these are? Any of these look familiar to you guys? Dope, right? I bet you guys know that one. Um, so yeah, this is the hallway leading to what is called the Pig's Eye Gallery. This gallery was never really used, you know, as a gallery. It's mainly just during our art crawl, which happens twice a year. So everybody will open up their apartment units as like an art studio and welcome the public into your crib and display and sell your art. So yeah, this is the Pig's Eye Gallery. And as far as the side of the building, there's nothing else really to show. It's kind of cool the way their roofs are, but I'm gonna take us back to the front entrance and we're gonna go downstairs and check out the tunnel. See, dun, like, dun. Uh, the second floor 
is up there. Technically, these are this is the third floor is the main entrance, which is weird, but yeah. So I'm back to the front area. That's the mail room, and we are going to go down these stairs. These are so cute. It feels so crazy to be back here. But yeah. As you can see, the gym is so cute. Like, I don't want to disturb people. I feel like it's so awkward, but I'm gonna go in there. This is the gym. There is people in here, so I'm gonna make it fast. Right. That was literally so awkward. All right, um, so this is where we're walking up to vending machines. Um, look at these walls, you guys. Say this isn't so beautiful. I literally want to cry, and I don't know if it's happy tears or sad tears, because I miss this place so, so deeply. Like, so many memories are coming back to me. Okay, I'm gonna try not to cry. <laughs> For real. Like, look at how beautiful. So, this tunnel connects the brew and the bottle house very interesting i used to do photo shoots in here i'll see if i can find some pictures but yeah i don't know is this a creepy tunnel to you guys what would you think this is where the beer would come through from the bottle house to the brewery so yeah then once we get out here there's a few amenities that we'll see if we have access to. Um, I never use this over here. These vending machines, at least to live off. These are the Media Sound Studios. Let's see. No. So they're basically soundproof studios so that the artists can um, practice their interest instruments. Okay. What is this? Oh yeah, these are more practice studios. So yeah, you can just reserve them. Oh, I don't think I've ever been in here. Um, wow, there's even a keyboard in there. So yeah, that's lit. Um, yeah, I literally lived here several years and never went in there. Um, this is another little studio area you could use, like a little gallery. There's usually more hanging there. But, oh, there's people in here. This is a dance studio. which is dope, you can actually see up to the lobby. And then we literally have showers over here. This was my favorite place in the building. Oh my goodness, you guys. This is a yoga studio. <laughs> Yo, this yoga studio is open 24 hours, so I would always come in here and you can just pick a workout and then literally the projector drops down Yo, this is nostalgic right now. I gotta get out of here before I cry, for real, for real. For real Z's. And then, I'm gonna go back this way. This part is actually low-key one of like the coolest parts. I'll just show you guys. This is like, again, a space that's utilized during art shows, but look at those spiral stairs. They actually really work. Um, but over here, it's so cool. And look at down there too. That's where the storage is. This place is dope as hell. Um, this is the wood shop, you guys. Um, so literally a wood shop. All these little rooms. These were just like mini ones. I don't know. I guess where they store that stuff. Where they store stuff. Oh, spray painting. We used to have a spray painting room, actually. Upstairs. Now, how come I can't remember how to get to the art room? Oh, here it is. <laughs> Silly me. Um, oh my goodness. Probably my second favorite place in the building. This was a a spray paint room. Yeah, they had shut this down like a long time ago. But yo, the art studio. Y'all, 24 hour access to this. And everyone would, you know, set up their little area. 
But how cool is this? You can't tell me. What? What? That's lit. So this is the pottery studio. You actually need a special key to get access to it. Um, but yeah, the clay studio. So back up here, this is the main building that we're in now. This is the brew house. And let me see if I'm gonna record this. Well, there's really nothing exciting over here except for a courtyard. So I guess we will, we'll go start you guys over here. Case Market, super dope. This is what the outside of the brew house looks and then that's the bottle house. So, boom. Walk in, call box again. And then we have the landmark gallery on our right which I don't know if we'll be able to see it or not, but this is like the art gallery, technically the biggest one, formal one. That's the dance studio again. Over there's like a weird courtyard. There's the spiral steps we talked about before. Um, I'm literally out of breath from going outside. Wow. I think you need a special key to get in there now, but that is the gallery. So this is kind of just like the office area, to be honest. Um, more apartments, I'm not gonna really get into there. But yeah, and over here we have the main event space. iPads, which is probably, okay, I keep saying all these are my favorite amenities, but this one, definitely makes it worthwhile and on top of it remember you don't have to pay for this so you can have a huge event in this space as I'm sure you can imagine like there's that upstairs it's multi-level thanks hi sorry <laughs> And this area is a theater, but it can also be used as an attachment to that. They have like tables and chairs you can set up. And then back here, they have actually like this whole hidden room with like another kitchen and like the, this is really hidden there. The lighting thing, it's like a two floor. You can control the lights and all of that from there. But yeah, this is, this is real cool, man. I'm trying to think of what there else is to show you guys. Oh, the rooftop, obviously. I know this is gonna make me wanna cry more than anything. The rooftop, you guys. Okay, I feel the tears coming for real. Because y'all, this view, oh my God, it's so beautiful. I don't know if it's the cold or my feelings or a mixture of the two, but look at you can see the whole city, you guys. Like, yes, that's what seven. You can see the capital, downtown St. Paul. Over there is the west side, y'all. This is the Schmitz Artist Loft. My heart and soul, St. Paul, Minnesota, forever love. This is humbling because it's like I came from here, but then it's so beautiful to see that like my last place was still pretty lit. Like, thanks for tuning in. It's really snow on the ground. It's real, real freezing. So I hope y'all really appreciate this video because, ah, ah. Let me show you guys how cold it is. Shoes. Sheesh, sheesh, sheesh. Uh, okay, the current weather states. Whew. 13 degrees, however, feels like negative four. Literally, send help. Blows me. I was debating if I was gonna tell the truth, but this used to be my old apartment. And I got fined for having a mat there. They told me it was a fire hazard. 
even though I don't even have any windows to get out of my apartment. If there was a fire, but who you know, maybe I should tell my real experience. I'm definitely gonna miss this jacuzzi tub. All this closet space, man. Ceilings. My closet. My cats are gonna miss jumping over these walls. But had to sacrifice a good situation for an opportunity for better. I want more.